Sister Wives Why Robin Brown Needs a New Younger Sister Wife With Kids And Garrison Brown Roommate Cries Regrets Not Checking on Him Also Most Despised TLC Husband Cody Brown or Garrick Merrifield I Will Explain Everything Watch This Video Until End Hey Lovely Viewers Welcome to My 2S Gossip Channel Before Garrison Brown's Passing there were suspicions that Cody and Robin Brown were in the market to add a new sister wife. Now Sister Wives fans think the new addition should be a younger woman with kids. Cody and Robin Brown seem ready for a new wife. In early March, before the devastating news of Garrison Brown's suicide, suspicions were running high that Cody and Robin Brown were wife hunting again. Although the plural marriage with Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin didn't pan out, there's a chance a different wife might. In many ways, they seem to be looking for the perfect plural family that Robin always dreamed of. With the untimely loss of a family member, all plans might have changed. However, Sister Wives fans think it could do Robin some good to have a younger sister wife. Furthermore, viewers saw how the early seasons of Sister Wives show Cody, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown managing a busy happy family under one roof. Additionally, it walks fans through the process of Cody courting his new wife, Robin Brown. Undeniably, introducing a new woman into the mix comes with huge transitions. Likewise, Robin entered the marriage with three kids from her earlier marriage. Without a doubt, plural marriage is a delicate dance to balance all the wives' and family members' needs. But when Robin joined the family, many of those factors shifted to her and her family. On Reddit, a Sister Wives viewer brings up a valid point about Robin Brown. First, they say, the only way Robin Brown will see what she did to the family. Furthermore, they discuss how Robin will only understand how she affected the balance of the family if she goes through something similar. They recommend she experience bringing in a new younger wife with kids to feel the full effect of how she shook up the managed equilibrium in the original Brown household. More so, the Reddit user wants Robin Brown to feel the same pain the other wives went through. Saying, bring on a younger sister wife and see how misplaced you will feel. Let her monopolize all of Cody's time. Referring to the favoritism that Robin had from Cody Brown. Also pointing out the way the other wives were feeling during Cody and Robin's honeymoon. Continuing, how about they go on a 14-day honeymoon see how you will feel. Especially with Christine Brown's pregnancy with truly happening at the same time as the courting, wedding, and honeymoon. Undoubtedly, the established three wives were going through many emotions while Cody and Robin were on their 11-day honeymoon while the large family stayed home. Additionally, the user brings up a difficult issue in Mary Brown's life since she was struggling with only being able to have one child. Saying, how about the new younger wife can give Cody children and you can't how would that make you feel? This is the only way Robin Brown will ever feel the pain she brought. In particular, the Sister Wives fan wants Robin Brown to get a taste of her own medicine. In like fashion, they want her to feel what it was like for Mary, Janelle, and Christine to have a younger wife come into their established plural marriage after 16 years of not adding a new wife. While Robin played a part in the unraveling of the plural family, some believe it wasn't just her fault. However, Others think she was the root cause of the dismantling of the harmony that originally existed in the family. The Reddit poster continues. She and Cody are despicable because Robin never tried to make the other women feel better when she knew she was Cody's favorite. Always stealing every second she could. Not caring about his other kids or her sister wives. Just saying. She never cared about anyone but herself. Maybe with a new younger wife she would then open her eyes. However. Other Sister Wives fans don't think Robin Brown would ever let this happen. Unfortunately, they don't believe she has the capacity to extend empathy or understand the pain of others. Her eyes are wide open. She did everything consciously. That's why. She would never allow a new wife. I'm sure she assumed the other wives and children would continue to suffer in silence like their religion requires so that she could siphon funds. She overshot. That's her only error. In her eyes. Exactly, Robin knowingly made her choices and wouldn't be able to handle what she did to the OG-3 and OG-13 being done to her and her kids. She would never have empathy for the other wives. 
She only reacts to her own pain and the pain of her kids. She can't feel anyone else's pain. I have a daughter-in-law like this. She is intentionally cruel to people and then gets hysterical when she's avoided at family events. The lack of empathy and accountability is quite something. Others think Cody might see through Robin Brown's manipulation. I almost wonder if Cody will have some sort of epiphany now and see what's happened and how Robin was the catalyst for the damage in the family. Not holding my breath but grief does things. To people. Heartbreaking body cam audio has surfaced from the moment that officers discovered Garrison Brown's body last month. The Sister Wives star committed suicide in early March and the Flagstaff Police Department responded to the scene. In the audio, you can hear Garrison's roommates express tremendous remorse and regret for not checking on him. Officers enter Garrison Brown's apartment in the audio. You can hear the moment that they discover the TLC star's body in his room. One officer mentions that he has moved a gun that was in Garrison's lap to provide medics with access to his body. However, he also audibly notes that the weapon was unloaded when he moved it. This might suggest someone else touched or moved the gun before the authorities arrived. Then, you can hear the cop asking for someone to notify the medical examiner. It was clear that Garrison Brown had been dead a long time before his body was discovered. The death appeared to be a suicide, but officers did not recover a note of any kind. A bullet casing was recovered at the scene though. The audio also reveals the moments that Garrison's roommates learn about his death. The officer called one roommate, Cheyenne, to tell her the news. She can be heard breaking down in tears. Garrison's roommates share regrets about not checking on him. Cheyenne told the officer that she heard something like a pop the night before. At the time, she said she did not realize or even think that it could be a gunshot. She said that Garrison recently confided in her about having a problem with alcohol. Emotionally, she apologizes for not checking on him the night before. Addison, another roommate of Garrison's, is also on the audio. She learned about his suicide over the phone as well and she is clearly upset by the news. Similarly, she tells the officer that he was suffering from depression and dealt with alcoholism as well. She believed that he was drinking the night of his death. Garrison Brown's brother, Gabe Brown, was the person who found him in his Arizona home. After several concerning text messages, Janelle Brown asked her children if one of them was available to go check on Garrison. She was concerned about her son's mental health. Gabe Brown volunteered to go check on his brother. However, upon his arrival, he discovered Garrison's lifeless body and called the authorities to the scene. Who is the most despised TLC? Husband, Sister Wives Patriarch Cody Brown, or Seeking Sister Wife star Garrick Merrifield. Both believe that they are God's gift to women, Cody with his six-pack abs. Whereas Garrick has single-handedly convinced his wife, Danielle to divorce him in the name of God so he could be with other women. Did Cody Brown walk so that Garrick Merrifield could run? Cody came onto the TLC scene in 2010 with a fully functional plural family. He had three wives, 12 children with one on the way, and was courting a fourth wife. They were able to make a household run and live in one home with Cody making a smooth rotation to each wife. Things did seem to change when they moved to Las Vegas as each wife had their own home and Cody clearly favored his fourth wife, Robin. As time went on, his second and third wives, Janelle and Christine Brown found their voices amid his favoritism. They stood up to him and would not let him dictate any longer. By the end of season 18, he was down to just one wife. As for Garrick, he heard a calling from God several years back and decided he needed more wives. He and his wife, Danielle have attempted to recruit women, typically from Brazil but it is just failing. A Reddit thread was started, noting how Garrick and Cody would make great friends and pointed out why. I think they're both narcissistic jerks that hide behind God on their absolutely awful decision making. The only difference is Cody found his young side piece, Garrick is still trying to buy his. So, what did followers have to say? I think Cody Brown got into polygamy for the religious side and his ego. I think Garrick just wants to have s asterisk x with multiple women. I said the same thing last night to my wife that Cody and Ick are like the same person and could get along every well. More to it. 
One comment from above noted that the TLC stars seemed like the same person. However, another added that Cody Brown appeared to have gotten into polygamy for religious purposes. He genuinely wanted to have multiple wives and create this very large family. However, Garrick Merrifield has been using God to justify all of his female encounters. Yet, in the end, when it comes to who is worse as a parent and an overall human being, Cody takes the cake. Cody is a pos because of what he did to his sons and kids if I bring up what I really want they will probably remove it. Robin can have him, we all remember. That haunting line, so ick is disgusting and perverted but Cody has done so much irreparable damage to his kids had ex-wives belittling them on TV when he belittled the wives he belittled the kids too. It's disgusting. Cody did choose his fourth wife and her five children in the end and has been estranged from several of his older children. Yes, his late son, Garrison Brown, who died by apparent suicide did say that Robin could have him. Garrick and Danielle have subjected their kids to too much but it does not appear that they have said anything close to what Cody did to his kids. Janelle Brown has been traveling recently. She has shared updates from North Carolina and Arkansas but now she is back home in Flagstaff, Arizona. Upon her return home, she had dinner with some friends and family. The photo she snapped is one of the first Sister Wives fans have seen of Gabe Brown since Garrison's death. The Sister Wives star took to Instagram to share the snapshot late Sunday night. First, she shared that she was back in Flagstaff. Then, she wrote that one of Gabe's friends held a Friendsgiving. In the photo, Gabe Brown can be seen front and center, looking over his shoulder. The table is full of his friends. One of the group is an international student at now, had never been to a Thanksgiving, and will be returning home at the end of the semester. I got to enjoy the meal and did none of the cooking. It was fun. We got to sample some Australian dishes, thanks L. Sausage rolls and lamingtons, she wrote in the caption. Fans were quick to hop in the comments and ask about how Gabe was doing. I hope Gabe is doing okay, one person wrote with a red heart emoji. Bits of joy in this new life we never wanted. Love this. Love Gabe's smile, another fan commented. A third fan wrote, Gabe is so handsome. You have such sweet caring children, Janelle. Well done. This is the first photo fans have. Scene of Gabe Brown since his brother Garrison's memorial service. The snapshots of the ceremony show an absolutely heartbroken Janelle Brown and Gabe, seated behind her, is crumbling as well. Many fans have been concerned about Gabe Brown's well-being since Garrison's death. Gabe was the person who found his brother dead in his home in Arizona. Garrison Brown died in early March as a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. At the time of his death, Garrison seemed to be having trouble with his mental health. Much of Garrison's mental health struggle may have been attributed to his non-existent relationship with his dad. Janelle Brown expressed that she wished she had gotten her son some help and mentioned that Garrison and his dad, Cody Brown, were estranged. However, fans have been concerned about Gabe Brown's mental health since finding his brother dead. It is an unimaginable thing to have to go through and fans have urged Janelle and other members of the family to seek counseling following the tragic loss. As the family tries to find their new normal, they are still mourning Garrison. On Garrison's birthday last week, Janelle Brown shared a touching tribute. In the caption she wrote, We are missing you terribly today. It's hard to believe you aren't here anymore. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.